Hey everybody, it's Jen. I just wanted to make a quick video to talk to you a little bit more about why I'm using Khan Academy and Hedemy. So I'm looking right now at one of the score reports that I would see on Khan Academy um, after you've done some of your practices. So you can see how it breaks it down for me by actual exercise. So the names of the exercise are over here on the left and then this just says whether Khan Academy thinks you have tried a problem uh, within that category somewhere on the site at some time. And then over here, what's really cool about Khan Academy is I can see the exact number of questions that you answered in each exercise and I can see the exact amount of time that you spent answering that question. So this is like a made up student um, who made it through the first day or two and it looks like they practiced the addition within 1000 which was assigned but really only tried one question maybe didn't even finish it didn't spend even a minute on that um, exercise and I totally get that that's really tempting that you hit the addition within a thousand you go whatever I can add I'm not gonna do these problems and you skip on to something that's more unfamiliar like understanding place value or perimeter but I want to emphasize it's important to do even the easy ones and that's because we've proven again and again in math that really what it takes to be good in math isn't being born with like the math gene or the math brain it's practice and so you gotta practice even the easy stuff because it refreshes those ideas in your mind and it's gonna help build confidence so a lot of you talked about in the first week that you really feel like math is your worst subject and it was the hardest and you hate it. Well if you feel like that please don't skip these early ones particularly if they're feeling kinda like review because when you're getting those problems right when you're spending those extra five or six minutes to go through the addition then you're building up some confidence so that when you tackle the slightly harder problems that we'll get to in a bit um, you know you'll be able to remember, oh wait, I can do addition, I'm good at this, I just have to go back to the skills I already know. Uh, the analogy I like to use is only doing one addition problem and saying, hey, I'm good at addition, is kind of like only doing one push-up and then saying, hey, I'm really good at push-ups. Um, just about anybody can do one push-up, but not everybody can do five in a row. So keep doing this, try to get five in a row correct, uh, just the practice is going to help you, and you know, trying to get five in a row correct, it kind of replicates that stressful situation that you feel when you're in a test, and you've got all that pressure to make sure everything is right, and you only get one try, well, practice that at home, where you're comfortable, when you're online, and then when you get into the test situation, and you only have one addition problem, you can go, oh, all right, no problem. I've done five in a row correct before. I'm set. Anyway, so that's just a little overview of one of the reasons I use Khan Academy because it's kind of spying on you as you do your homework. Make sure that you're following through on everything. Um, I'm entering grades for this week right now, so you should be seeing some comments come through where I might say, hey, I'm glad you're on the site, but can you go back and do a couple more on this addition one or a couple more with perimeter or something like that. Uh, in addition, if you've got questions for me, please email, reach out. I've been loving getting all the messages this week. There have been a lot of them, so I'm a little behind on replying, and I'm sorry for that, but I'll keep working through them today and tomorrow. And Monday morning, the first quiz opens up, so... You can tackle that whenever you want, but make sure you've done all the assignments leading up to it first. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, rounding, averages, and equations will show up on that quiz. And I know you'll do great because you're going to practice, practice, practice. All right. Have a good weekend, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye.